Hi, today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful Spanish door with beautiful colorful flowers with easy techniques. I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. Let's get started painting. Okay, so let's put some um, leaves and things around here for get ready for our flowers. So this is another brush that I use and this is the number eight um, bristle brush is flat but it, but I like it because the bristles open up on it you know so it can give me some nice leaves now you can use the one inch if you want to but I'm going to show you this eight in, eight inch one or you can use six eight or ten size six eight or ten and we're going to dip into a dark green and to make it even more dark I'm going to add a little bit of blue maybe a little bit of red all right so that's nice so now let's decide what way we want our flowers so this is the background for the flowers so you're going to have flowers you want to make sure that the shape of the leaves are going to be the same so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap in let's see let's see let's see just touch and I'm going to tap gently gently Okay, gently because I get lots of paint on my brush. So I've got a little high one here. And I'm going to come over the sides. I'm going to come down here. Don't worry about it if you make it a little bit of a mess. All right, I'm going to come down here on the side. Some of them are sticking out this way. And some of them are sticking out this way. And I'm hanging down. Just what's left over on your brush now. You don't need much paint this time, okay? Good. Something like up here, see? Good. We'll do the other side. But let's put a little bit more here and just tap on a little bit. Because remember, this is where your flowers are going. So you want to have some kind of a shape to guide you. And when you put your flowers on, you also want to be able to... Uh, have a nice underpainting of greens and then take some more and do the other side whatever way you want them so let's I'm going to make them a little higher up here and then I'm just going to spread them out on the sides just tapping very gently tap 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 down around the side coming off the canvas depends on where you put them put them okay and then tap more down here and that will give me an idea which way I want my flowers so that's a little uh, underpainting there and if you want to highlight that a little bit before you put your flowers down just get some yellow tap it into the color that you just made and then tap over what you just did very gently you don't want to lose the underpainting okay just gently gently there we go. Maybe there's some hanging down over the front there. Just use your imagination. Good. Maybe there's a little one hanging down here. I don't know. Just playing. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Let's see. Let's see. See just that little bit there. If you can get that much, then you'll be like really excited about moving on to put some flowers on it. So try to get those as nice as you can, just so you're happy with it. And that will get you encouraged to move on to flowers. And if you don't like what you see in this stage, then you're going to be probably frustrated and say, you know, I don't like that. But if you can get that as nice as you can, even if you, got, if you don't like what you see, then go back to the green again. So if you put your highlight on, it looks really, you don't like it. Just go back to the green again. Just tap on some more green, dark green, and then start over. So don't worry about it too much. Just experiment, okay? It's a learning lesson, all right? Because most people looking at my videos are beginners. So if somebody was looking at this and they're very experienced, then they probably wouldn't need to keep going over it and things like that, or, right? So, as you get more experience, you'll be able to figure out the pressure that you need. You need to, so I only did that very lightly. 
I lost a little bit of my dark okay so I just noticed that so I'm going to show you how to fix that so if you lose some of your dark go back in with your dark green just get some of your dark green back and then just tap that on top of what you just did it's okay see that brings back some of your darks good not too bad all right okay so I'm just going to use this brush here that um, I have and look you can see that the some you can get that are like more you can put grooves in them separate them so that you can get some boards on your doors and cabins and things so I'm just going to try to put some blue paint on my brush and maybe a little bit of black maybe a little bit of red just to see how that works out now if the bristles don't separate you'll have to separate them somehow let's see probably not let's wipe that off in our tissue and just pull down now our pull up okay so pull down, just try not to have too much paint on your brush, straight up and down, and that will give you some streaks, some boards. So you can see, like we don't want anything too elaborate right now, but you can see that it's adding some little boards there. So I got my brush pretty full here. I'm going to try another brush. This brush here is not bad, but it's not doing what I want it to do. Down and up and down. Okay, so I'm going to try another brush. Let's try the bristle brush. See if that helps. Okay, the bristles. Just the bristles are kind of, see how they're all separated there? So let's try that. Just see if that works better. The number eight or if you get number eight, six, or ten bristle, that's fine. So let's try that. Touch under the shadow and pull. I just need a bit more darkness there. Touch and pull down. Good. Yeah, so more shadows in the door. Get your bristle brush. Make it look like it's kind of old and uh, has some it has some boards here but you don't want to pronounce those now you can do anything you want like I said I'm just doing um, this painting so that uh, I can help you get started and you can pick out different ways of doing things that you like to do yourself so let's try some more of these I'm just taking my bristle brush like I said and, uh, and I'm touching and I'm pulling down straight down boom straight down okay so I think we need you know a bit of paint on our brush to get it to move so don't wipe it off just take your brush fill it up with paint and pull it down straight down so it looks like straight boards okay see how it creates some sh uh, shadows all right so I don't know it's hard for you to see but I'm gonna go black that way you'll be able to see it better so just go down and you go up again if you want as long as it's straight you know you don't want to go this way and that way and stuff because then you'll end up with something different completely do any adjustments that you need to make up on the top here okay just move your paint around and that way you get some shadows Okay, let's try a doorknob and uh, let's get a small liner brush there. I'm trying to get it so it won't be too blurry on you. But anyway, not sure what's going on there, why it's still blurry. But anyway, it's a small, flat, small brush and it's a liner brush and um, as you can see it right here. And I'm going to take, let me see, let me see. I'm going to take some chalk. 
let's take some chalk and draw out our doorknob. So we're going to put it on the door. Pick a spot that you like. Okay, I'm just going to pick right here. And then I'm going to make a little circle. There we go. Little circle. And then I'm going to make uh, a curved line like that. Okay, curved. See that? I'm going to make another one just to be sure. Get that correct. All right, so that's, let's try that. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to get some brown paint with a little bit of brown and a little bit of blue. That's all. I'm just mixing a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. I find brown and blue makes a really good, really dark color. Where are you? Can't find me. There I am. <laughs> I could edit that out, you know, but nah. It's a bit of fun. Okay, so brown and blue makes a really good dark color. Almost black, all right? I think I, I had a video on um, color mixing. So we want to make it nice and dark. If it's not dark enough, add a bit of black just to keep get even darker. So it depends on how dark you want it. I'm just going to add a little bit of black to mine. Because I tell you now, I use the tube, uh, the uh, bottle paints, and it's harder to get them to do the color mixing as good as I would like them. Because I use them for videos. They're just the bottle paints. And so if you're using tube paints like um, Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue, you'll get a really nice dark color. And Cad Red, they've had a little bit of Cad Red. So, you know, it depends on what you're using. Uh, if you don't have the, those colors, you know, don't worry about it. Use whatever you have on hand. And this, uh, now that other, these lines here, just fill those in so that you got that. All right. So I'm not going to go too thick there. There we go. We got to start it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight with a bit of yellow. A bit of yellow onto your brown. All right, and then you're going to make a highlight on the door. Now, remember the sun is coming in on that side. So just a little bit on there. Good. And let's take some of the yellow and brown, and we'll put it in the center. We'll put the, cent we'll put the highlight in the center. And that way we get a little bit on the edge. We we still need to keep the dark. So we got the edge and the center and the edge. Now, let me fix that for you. Get rid of that chalk line so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'll highlight that a bit more for you now so you can see it. It might be a little brighter on my side, but you, you highlight it to the way you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a bit of highlight in the center and up to the side and down to the other side because the sun is coming in. I'm going to highlight it again. Can't seem to get it bright enough. All right, there we go. So that's just the bottom or the handle. Okay, just the center there a little bit. Good. So you got the doorknob and the handle. And if you want, the, if you lose your shadow on the side there, if you end up going over, just put it back in. A little handle there. See? Isn't that cute? Okay, there's lots more you can do. You can make, you know, some more locks and stuff on top, but. Just let's do this much first, and we need to do more stuff. If you guys want me to do more things with this painting, just leave it in the comment section, and um, maybe I can add some more things to that you would like to see done, or we can do another door. So you know, don't don't hesitate to ask me to do certain things if I don't if I can't do it or I, or I can't get to it on time. But at least I'll have it written on my list, and I will get to it eventually. And if I can't do it, I'll let you know. So, so far we have that much. Nice. Okay, so let's try um, adding some highlight to the door. 
so that uh, it'll look more shadowy and let's see how that works out so I just got a bit of blue paint and a bit of white and I mix that here a lighter blue than what the door is okay I'm using a flat brush sable bristle I'm um, sorry not bristle sable or synthetic and I'm just going to add some light color just so now we know the sun is coming and so it could hit off this edge of the door I don't know for sure like you're not there so you have to make it up as you go along so let's just add a little bit of light hitting off the door see how that works out just experimenting together here this morning yes we are let's just put a little bit of that light on see what happens what do you think do you think that's okay it's not too bad let's smooth it out a bit more and I'll make it more uh, uh, clean off your brush get get a lot of the brush paint off as much as you can because you want to scrub that in there okay it's not too bad okay and we'll do this one bring it down to the bottom of the step there and there and that will give us a little bit of a, a highlight and it'll make everything else look like your shadows so it's kind of cool yes I like that like I said let me know in the comments if you like it or if you want to see something else you want to see something added or if you want to see some kind of flowers added to there or yeah, I love hearing from you guys you give me fantastic compliments you make me feel so good I'm gonna get a swell head but I'm so happy that you're enjoying the video so I really am I'm thrilled and because you guys are being so nice to me in the comments, it makes me, I can't wait to do another video. Can't wait. And I try my best. I just want to be natural. I want to be one of you guys. I don't want to be here pretending I'm an amazing artist and you can't do as good as me. <laughs> I want us all to be one. We're all beginners. Okay, so I think I like that. If you don't like it, let me know and we can try something else. Let's just clean up the edge here too, down here. I'm just putting a bit of blue back on there. I'm going to add now some dark blue that we started off originally with and let's see, let's see, a bit of white. Let's just tap into it. Don't mix it up, just see what happens. Right, we'll clean that up there because we want to come down around the edge. That's the door box, I guess you call it. and we can clean off your brush and just take your brush and go on the edge of here just clean it up a little bit just try to straighten it up a little bit there there we go doesn't have to be perfect but you know if you got a door box around your door it can be pretty messy if it's old and worn and weather worn so use your imagination look at some pictures okay and then clean up the edge and that will help it stand out a little bit more and look a little uh, a little cleaner it's so just a bit of blue a little tiny bit of white on your brush not much just a little bit of blue a little bit of white and clean up the edge just go right on the edge with your chiseled edge brush and put on that little edge there just to straighten it up if you need to okay we won't worry about the top too much we go flowers over that and on this side too just clean up the edge just straighten it up because we just sort of tap that on there so you might want to straighten it up a little bit there we go so you can always look up door box uh, pictures Spanish door boxes and see what they look like so just clean up that edge you can come out a little bit if you want to make it a little bigger or a shadow behind a door just keep it straight you use a chiseled edge of your brush right up against a line and that will help that just cleans that up there a little bit good good so anything else you might see just pick at it I like picking at 
my paintings sometimes. Sometimes I mess them up. But that's the fun. That's the fun of it all. So if you think you need some more highlight on the top of here, you can put that on now. So when you're doing your paintings, when you're doing your paintings and you look at it and you see, okay, this needs a little more highlight, that needs a little more of this, I'll do it all at the one time as you're doing it and then stand back and look at it and see what little things need to be adjusted, okay? That's what I'm doing right now. So just stand back and see what needs to be adjusted before you move on to anything big again. See? So that, you know, just adjust these little things. Okay, I think we're good with the door. Now you can put some windows in there too if you want, but I'll, uh, I'll think about that and see what we put in and put, maybe put a couple in later. But right now I think we should move on to some flowers. <laughs> 